Welcome back to another quick tip. In Keyshot 10, you'll find the option to create an environment rotation animation. This is a really versatile animation feature, so let's learn how to use it. In this scene, I have this spiral shape with a simple custom environment and background set to color. An environment rotation animation can be created with any type of environment, so if you grabbed something from the library or downloaded from the Keyshot Cloud, don't worry, you will still be able to use this feature. With the environment set up to your liking, you can add the environment rotation animation from the environment tab, from within the new environments list in the scene tree, or from the animation wizard. In the properties panel, you'll see two options for editing, simple and advanced mode. Simple mode is very straightforward. You just set the start angle and end angle for your animation. So right now my starting angle is at zero because I do like the current position of the environment that I can see with this camera angle. And then my end angle will be 360 degrees because I want that environment to make one perfect rotation around my part. And let me just zoom out real quick so you guys can see what's really happening here with this animation. As you can tell if you follow that moving pin, the entire environment is rotating around my object. Now for more control over your animation, you can switch over to advanced mode where you get this curve editor. This looks similar to the motion ease custom curve if you're familiar with that, but it is in fact a little different. Here we're controlling the degree of rotation at a specific time. So my curve starts at zero seconds, zero degrees and ends at five seconds, 360 degrees. So those right now are the same start and points that we just saw in simple mode. But the difference here is with the curve itself and the path the environment will take between these two values. I've already created these two keys here, which take the animation in a totally different direction than simple mode. You can see when I scrub through here how different that looks, especially with this key here at a value of negative 45. The animation in a way goes forwards, then backwards and forwards again, before completing that 360 degree rotation. So in advanced mode, you can get pretty creative with adding keys and adjusting the tension between those points. Here's an example of what that looks like. And then here is simple mode right up against advanced mode, just to give you a better idea of the difference with that curve editor in advanced mode. This is overall just a really awesome animation feature for creating those dramatic shifts in lighting across your models. So thanks for watching this Keyshot Quick Tip. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and hit that subscribe button for more helpful content. If you enjoy this video, give it a like and share it with your friends.